win. I think this is actually serious. I don't think this is just, oh, let, let's float an idea and, and see how it goes down. On Sunday night, the news broke that um, European football, continental football, was kind of thrown into turmoil by the news of this breakaway European Super League. And really, it is probably the biggest tempt to sort of split split football since the Premier League, but it, you know, in terms of our domestic football, but I think it's it's a lot more serious and wholesale than that. And so where it goes from here, I just don't know. F from our league, Manchester City, Manchester United, Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea, and Tottenham. You have Real Madrid, you have Barcelona, Juventus. Uh, and yeah, the idea is that, that this league is gonna run as well as the Champions League and uh, respective domestic leagues, including our Premier League. It's supposed to be a, a midweek competition. Talk about starting it from next August. If there is no promotion or relegation, it's just going to bypass kind of sport, really. Sport for me is romance, poetry, it's competition, it's crumbs. How did Leicester win the Premier League in 2016? But they did. You know, Nottingham Forest, my side, how did they win two consecutive European Cups about 400 years ago? But they did. It's easy to be knee-jerk and say, okay, this is this is a bad thing. But I actually think it is because it's taking the fun out of, you know, the, the ingredients of sport, why we all lo love sport. And it's a shame that the, 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 the executives behind this are so misguided that the, 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 basically what they're doing is they're actually, they'll be looking at this thinking, well, what are the fans going to say? They're not going to like it, but actually, it's very common, stuff them. I don't think that it is good news for, for fans. I don't think it's good news for, uh, for football in this country. I think it runs from absolutely furious stroke indignant to those who may be are saying, well, well, why not? I want to see Liverpool play Juventus rather than Micheland or another sort of inverted commas, lesser continental club in the Champions League. But to me, that for me, that, that is the reason why you like the Champions League. Uh, I'm personally very much against it, as in common with who appears to be nearly everybody else. I think it destroys the pyramid of football. Because you'll always have, you know, fans who can afford to, to fly to Turin or Madrid or, or wherever it may be. But I think there's a lot of fans, it's not an exact science, but many fans just seem not interested. Actually, I think what they've looked at is the fact there's not been any fans in the stadium. The ideal for these super clubs would not to have to rely on fans because if you don't rely on fans, that means obviously not relying on their, their gate attendance. So you've got a, a model that, that kind of bypasses the need for them. And that's kind of, I think, what's at play here. So behind this though, if you take Real Madrid, they've got a lot of debt and, and other clubs will do as well. But I think that's behind it as well. It's a money uh, grab. You know, it, it's great that there is a general f feeling that, the, you know, it's been understood that this this goes against the spirit of sport and football but i am concerned about what happens next i have to be honest